That's good. Hi, guys. We're back. We're back. With My Chamber TV. I'm Paul Friedlander, and I'm your host today with the awesome Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce and Miss mm -hmm. Jean Hungerville, the President's CEO. And we've had three awesome, awesome members of the chamber on, and we're here with number four. We have just gone from water. We are now going into the air with the Tampa Bay Aviation and Airplane and Helicopter Services. Absolutely. And Stella LeClay. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yes. See, so there's more to do in Tarpon than, than yes. just the sponge. There's a and, lot and of. My stuff buddy to do. here has told me that this is we. I thought the sailing was fun. She said, you guys have some awesome things. So talk to us That's about right. what you Absolutely. all do. Absolutely. We're, we're basically a flight school. Uh, so we teach you to fly helicopters or planes. We also have a charter airplane company. So if you want to go to the Bahamas or to the Keys or anywhere in the world, we can take you with a pilot and a plane. Um, but today I want to focus really on our helicopter tours because we actually fly right over Tarpon Springs in some of our tours. You should see nice. some of the photos she sends and me. It's, it's it's really fun. It's an amazing experience. The biggest misconception is that it's loud and noisy and very scary. Not at all. Um, you put on your Bose headsets, the silencing. All you do is talk to your pilot, who's an instructor as well. So all of our instructors uh, and pilots are very well versed in flying for years. And they'll take you over and show you some of the most incredible scenery that you could ever imagine. Whether you're a tourist, first time here, right. or um, a local who wants to see where you live, where you play every day. Fun. It's incredible. Now, really fun. Scheduling wise, do you guys fly seven, do the helicopters go seven days a week? Yes, we do. Uh, we fly from nine o'clock until five. You can also schedule earlier or later, uh, right. depending on the, the, the climate change and the darkness. Um, we do have sunset tours. We have full moon tours where you'll fly Ooh. out in the, when the full moon is out. Uh, we do fly dine packages where you can actually, we'll fly you to a place like Innisbrook, for example. You have dinner, your pilot will wait for you and then pick you back up and take you back to the airport. So is that implying that, oh, that um, Innisbrook does have a helicopter pad to land? We, we go on the greens after after playtime. <laughs> yeah, after play <laughs> yeah, yeah, after playtime. Yeah, because I um, would imagine that making a golfer really angry. Yes, yes, yeah, when it's shouting, <laughs> par, <laughs> avoid our helicopter, please. Um, we do um, fly out of both Clearwater Air Park and out of Tarpon, uh, uh, sorry, downtown St. Pete. Okay. So you have different tours, but both locations you can actually fly over to Tarpon Springs. Okay. Uh, very cool to see the beach area, the downtown area. Yes, it is. And point out the, the sponge docks and the boats. It's really fun. Uh, it's, it's quite an experience. Many, and how many people in the helicopter? Maximum of three, oh, minimum of two. Okay. Yes. Um, and all ages. If you are under two, you sit on mama's and papa's lap. Okay. Um, okay in the back uh, seats, but um, otherwise any age can go. And you know, there again, a misconception, oh, it's only for young people, absolutely not. Some of our best clients are, you know, honeymooners, um, retirees that want to oh, have an anniversary. Oh, yeah. um, we have champagne packages and romance packages that you can no add kidding. on. So you can actually sip some champagne as you're flying over beautiful destinations. Now you do have the doors closed on the side. We do. Now, if you... <laughs> <laughs> well, thinking we about sipping champagne, the doors had better be closed. Yes, for the regular tours we do, but if you wanted to rent the helicopter to go out and do a photo oh, shoot yes. or a specialty, we do um, golf ball drops and Easter egg drops for oh. local churches and golf courses. Okay. So we will keep the doors open. Okay. We will make sure we're well strapped in and we'll throw out oh, there yeah, you go there, There's you go. Your helicopter. there you go there you are so we have two uh, actually three helicopters uh, that are robinson 44s that, okay. that can hold the maximum of three with the pilot we also have robinson 22s and those are for if, uh, instruction so if you want to actually learn to fly a helicopter we can take you up no kidding uh, makes a great gift and right now of course we're in the season so gift certificates are fantastic you can oh, actually a give a you, you can somebody. give a gift of, of, of flight and uh, an instructor
instructor will take you up and you'll actually, with a helicopter or a fixed wing, you can actually... Now, do you have classes that will actually get somebody to the point where they can actually get their license? Absolutely. Our flight what? school starts all the way from pilot, right. uh, private pilots, all the way through to commercial with every step in between. Okay. Uh, on to CFI, CFI 2, and then uh, a lot of times right out to the airlines after that. Okay. But we can do both. CFI, Certified Flight Instructor? Correct. Yes, okay. absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And just so I understand this, so for somebody that's brand new, I want to learn how to fly a helicopter, what type of what type of time does that take somebody in, in school? Yeah, uh, just depending on your availability. Right. We always recommend uh, at least two to three times a week flying, mm -hmm. okay. just because you have a lot right. of ground school and a lot of things that are constantly going through. But, um, you know, it depends on your time schedule. Again, okay. we're open seven days. Mm -hmm. You make a deal with your pilots if you want to come earlier or later. Mm -hmm. You can fly um, and do a lot of groundwork. Remember, that, that's a big part of it, too. Right. The flying is the fun part, but the, oh, yeah. the actual groundwork is... is and it's uh, also spent... Does it depend on the person's skill set? And is it and their ability to pick up, or are there a certain number of hours that are required to get it? Yes, a exactly. Gotcha. For example, um, most people on a fixed wing take about 50 to 55 hours okay. if they're regularly studying. Right. Um, with a helicopter, it might take a little less or a little more. It just depends on how much they absorb. Um, they're Because they're so very different. Too. They are. Yeah. They are. Well, let's talk about the fun stuff. I see yeah. we have some um, rack cards here with helicopter tours starting at 40. Yep. and starting That's at 69. Yes, so you can fly out of um, St. Pete starting at 49, uh, 69. Out of uh, Clearwater right now, we are flying um, starting 15 minutes because we want to make sure that you're going up and you're going to have a great time right. seeing a little bit of the downtown area, the beaches, <coughs> our beautiful Honeymoon Island and Caladesi and all of that. Uh -huh. um, anywhere through to one hour, you can uh, custom build it. So if you want to fly over your home, we can arrange that. And then you can actually have relatives fly, you know, waving back up to you. And again, with our, with our, um, actually, our charters, yeah. you can actually charter a helicopter as well. If let's say you want to go somewhere in helicopter rather than going by plane, right? You can do so as long as it's a maximum of three people. Okay, and the oh. and the distance that for a helicopter will a helicopter get you to the Bahamas? Oh. You'd have to make a stop, of course, right. but yes, um, okay. helicopter can land in a lot of places that a plane cannot. Right. Okay. So we can refuel in sense. all these small little airports along the way. But if someone really definitely wants to go by helicopter, we can do it. We can do it. We actually just took a gentleman uh, on one of our Pilatus planes. What is uh, that? It's a it's a six seater, seven seater plane. Okay. Fixed wing, single prop engine. He wanted to fly around the world, and so he chartered our plane. And he just made it 26,000 miles in 25 days. Oh my God. So it's really incredible. Yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. So anything is possible. You just have to wish it and we can make it happen. Around the world in 25 days. Yeah. Wow. It was amazing to follow with all the different time zones. Did, you, did, he, a, did he have a pilot? or He he, he was the chief and uh, commander the, in chief. No but kidding. we did have someone from Tampa Bay Aviation and someone from uh, the logistics team that flew with him, although he was the one piloting the plane. To do this circumnavigation of the world, okay. it had sure. to be him. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if oh. I can get that much time off. So <laughs> it sounds, like, <laughs> sounds like, based on my ear set, it sounds like John's ready to go. I know. I, th I think what we'll do is we'll give you a pilot and you can just sit back and go down to the Keys or somewhere and enjoy it. Yeah. No, that does speak, sound talk awesome. Talk about being able to land. We talked about, you mentioned Innisbrook, but mm -hmm. you know, let's say we... Will you have? Will they take you out? And are they do they have the ability to land at one of the islands, like a three rooker or sand? Yeah, with tours we have to uh, not land. We have to return to the place where we took off. Okay. But if we make special arrangements or we get clearance, right? Um, you know they're fussy. They want to keep nature as natural enough, as possible. Or you get yeah. low enough that they can jump out. Yeah. <laughs> We'd rather them not do that. No, no, no. <laughs> we have to bring them back home safely. Yes. Otherwise, the pilots stop. won't be with us very long. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, because you know you get it out to there, and then sand goes everywhere, and it doesn't make everybody yeah. happy. Yeah, we have to be very careful with the nature. We're very oh, much yeah. eco-friendly. We want to show you the nature without actually being part of it. Um, you know, oftentimes you'll see sharks out there. Uh, you'll see stingrays. Awesome. You'll see dolphins, of course, like in the sailing trips. Sharks, not a time to jump out. And right? it's kind of scary sometimes. You'll see the swimmers, and then you'll see the sharks, and you're really glad that you can't scream down to them. You know, no panic there. Uh, yeah. But everybody stays in their, in their areas. Have you ever had a proposal on a helicopter? We have. No kidding. We have, absolutely. Um, it's a great way to, you know, captive audience. Yeah. You're in there. <laughs> they have the champagne, and they do propose. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, or get exactly out. What, yes, or get out. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> So I don't want to put you on the spot, That's but you right. know what? We are 100 feet off the ground right now. And, That's right. And That's we are right. we are getting ready to wind down. Um, last thing, seven days a week, do you guys do tours on, on holidays also? We do, absolutely. Okay. We've got gift certificates, so if anyone wants to purchase. Oh, what a great awesome. Christmas gift. And um, feel free to call us at got any time for Websites questions. up, Learn to Fly. Yep. Stella LeClay, thank you, thank you so thank much you for so being much. on our show today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for My Chamber TV, the Tarpon Springs, and we're coming back for one more second where we, one more section where we're coming back with Miss Jean to talk about what's going on at the chamber. Oh, and that's lots. There you go. Thanks, Stella. Thank you, thank you.